Hi Taurus, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hope all of you are well as we kick off the summer season. I appreciate you all so much. I feel a connection every day with you. And if you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are something different every week. So it could be a more detailed Celtic cross style reading. I do love readings on Mondays. I added a law of attraction tarot card reading. And that's pretty fun. I love doing it. I got some lady that never likes it, but she doesn't like anything on Mondays. She just likes the same style, I guess. It's all right. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right. What advice do you have for Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Taurus need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Taurus? Messages for Taurus. I'm going to let that come out. Advice for Taurus. Okay. You just see him hanging out there. Didn't exactly jump out, more or less dribbled out, but still. All right. We've got the Seven of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. Well, some kind of conflict is done. I do see that. I also feel like, you know, we say you're Taurus the Bull. You know, go charging like the bull that you are. I actually, I do feel like this is going to go in your direction. Be a little careful, though, with that Seven of Wands. So we've got both the Six and Seven. I do like that just because... We have 78 cards here. I feel like they're telling you you're going to be victorious, but, you know, a little finesse might be nice. We don't want to bulldoze people, but something here is going to end. Now, the Hierophant jumped out at us, so I feel like this is really in alignment with what I was just talking about. I don't always intentionally speak to the cards right. I might get going on something that's coming in and then pick up a card and go, oh God, it ties right into this. What a beautiful segue. It's spirit. I'd love to take credit for it, but that was not intentional. The underlying quality of this is unity. Okay. So it's all about bringing people together. I do feel like you have a great life partner here and you have something here romantically that's very solid. You have an engagement and a wedding showing up here. But this is a card, too. I feel like you're going to be very much in alignment with your own principles. You will not bend. Okay, If somebody's trying to get you to do something or they were trying to get you to do something that was shifty or immoral or anything like that, um, you're just not going to be down with it. You have wonderful aspects for money, too. And I feel like it relates back to this. It, relate, it relates back to you being a person of principles. Somebody here thinks you are very much a stand-up, trustworthy person, and you're going to get promotion out of that. And I know that wasn't your original intention, but that, that is what's going to happen. Now, this also is a card that says, be still and know. And so whatever the conflict is, I'd be wearing the world like a loose-fitting garment where that's concerned. Don't let it own you. Don't let him live rent-free in your mind. Because with this, you're going to move forward. You have great protection. You may find, too, with this, that you have protection from whoever it is that you're attracting because they sure are smitten with you. But there's so many great cards here. I almost picked up that Six of Wands. I like that, too. But I do feel like there's celebration, there's victory, and there's a real commitment showing up here. So with that Ten of Pentacles, even though it's the Wealth card, it also does relate to your happiness, your harmony in all aspects of your life. So very positive energy is going on here. So the seven of wands here, you know, you're in alignment here. So with the hierophant too, meditate, quiet your mind. Because with the seven of wands, you may have small problems, but you have solutions. You're going to navigate them fairly easily. I do feel like you may have an exchange of words with somebody. So with this, it helps you to keep your mind in order so that you don't give them ammunition. Because we have to be careful with that, right? Sometimes it, if you say something, it can be taken out of context or used in a way to slander you. And so I feel like you'll be rather artful if you do have a conflict with someone directly. 
But I also feel like with this, it's all about moving forward in your life. You're not here to pay attention to, to small-minded situations. You're here for that bigger, bigger build, I guess we'll say. So I do feel like with work and with money, you're definitely moving forward. And so if there's been something challenging at work, I feel like it is going to be it's going to be done, but it's going to allow you to be free and move forward. So the Ten of Swords, the good news is it is over with this. If you had somebody here and it was a work-related thing where they weren't good by their word or they were there was too much conflict with somebody with that five, the Tens are about completions and starting a new cycle. You've got a full-on realization here, though. The darkness can be ignorance in a situation, so you might not have seen it fully coming, but I do see you looking at it going. I just don't see it sticking around you. Um, and it may give you a day or two of an emotional hangover, whatever this is. Honestly, though, that depends on how much how much emotion, how much you allow it. I keep getting that. It's going to be up to you. How much do you let this in? I feel like it really is a, a case of your own attitude affects your elevation, right? Your altitude. And so... As much as we don't align with this, you'll have that high vibrational stuff going on. So it may pass as easily as it shows up here. So with this Queen of Pentacles, it's you and your own energy. It's very important energy for you because I do feel like you're going to make gains at work. And it, that those swords here have something to do with it. But I feel like your level-headedness, your kind of perseverance, you're moving forward with this is going to result in some kind of promotion or more money coming in. Now, if there's something about a sale here, you're selling something and it does feel like you're tr they're trying to undercut you. I do feel like with this too, you're going to be savvy enough to negotiate around it. She's great with negotiations. I always say she's like the Susie Orman of the tarot. You're going to have a really keen eye financially when you're in this energy. She also creates out of, you know, turns straw to gold. So somebody here too, if you're trying to sell things, I keep getting that for you. It may just be your own stuff, but I do feel like you're going to have extra money as a resource. This is a card of abundance all around you. So you may find that you spend more time with your home or wherever you live your home, let's call it that, getting things the way that you like them, getting them almost just so is what they want to say with this. And so with this, you're going to be feeling good. I, I, I feel like with the Ten of Swords, Five of Swords, it's pretty minimal uh, in terms of time. I just don't see this hanging out a whole lot of time here. Well, the Five of Swords is activity and change. You're not looking to continue conflict. If it was a relationship that ended too, if that's what this has to do and there was maybe some communal property, I also feel like you're going to let go of stuff and you're not going to miss it. I don't feel like you're being stolen from with this, but whatever leaves, you'll gladly watch it leave. So if it's physical property of yours, right? Somebody asks something of yours, you may decide, you know, I don't want any association with them anyway, so they can keep it because I don't want it back. So either way with this, there's going to be a shift just to release all this because I just don't see you staying in conflict for long. Now, I apologize. I have to itch. I have an itchy palm here. Somebody must be getting money coming in. Came right in with the Ten of Pentacles. So this is an unexpected turn of events. So I feel like the ending here is a brand new beginning for you. It's going to make your life a lot easier. There's harmony here. So if it was a relationship that ended... You have somebody new coming in that's a life partner. If it was a job ending or something, it doesn't feel like a job ending, but a situation ending at a job, you're going to make gains because of it. So with this, I also, again, go back to that selling stuff. Somebody here is going to sell something. Um, it may be old clothes or stuff that you just don't want. I don't feel like it's selling necessarily a you know, prized painting, but... It does feel like stuff that you just don't want, somebody else does. So you're going to feel like you have more money. With this overall, though, it definitely is a card of being in appreciation. You have it again here, too. So they're telling you, they give you little nudges in the tarot saying, appreciate, appreciate, and you'll get more things to appreciate. With the Three of Cups, it is an engagement card. It is a card of reunions, too. So I we mentioned that briefly earlier. It's coming together, though. They're dancing in celebration. You're going to, with that Ten and Five of Swords exit, you're going to be celebrating. It's that paradox of let go to receive. 
So we don't fight. We don't try to, you know, necessarily. I do think there could be some words exchanged. But like we said, be kind of cautious about that. Because overall, I think you're going to be too focused on this anyway, to be getting in the mired down with some kind of conflict with somebody else. Now, in a love relationship too, though, you're going to be out having fun, doing things, celebrating, being in a place too where you're just having fun being in a relationship. The Six of Wands brings in success. You've got promotion, you've got advancement, and you've got the wreaths of victory. Some of this may be metaphorical, though. If it's somebody you really didn't like, the conflict as it leaves, you do feel victorious. You have it many times here. And that may just be knowing that, that validation that you knew you were right, and now so does everyone else. But either way, you're going to be feeling good in this and feeling like your life is expanding. So if there's somebody who was a real thorn in your side where you felt like you couldn't expand around them because they just weren't a match energetically, this is where you're going to find the match. So the Eight of Pentacles has you building up your future, building up stability. Eights are rhythm and vibration. So you're definitely attracting your people here because it's also earth energy. So as you get into flow, you're going to find new opportunities come in, new people come in, and it's just a whole lot easier energy to be around. So enjoy that because I do feel like it relates to work too, especially with that. Any changes there, it's going to make your life a lot easier. I also feel like too, though, in a relationship, you are, you know, you want the same things and you're willing to work towards them, invest in them, be in the same mindset together. I just don't see a relationship that has a lot of conflict in terms of a love relationship. It just feels more work-like to me. So what other advice does Taurus need to have, please? Advice for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages for Taurus, please. And Insight for Taurus. Communicate clearly because the universe is always listening and wants to interact with you. They say abundance. That doesn't surprise me, especially with that Queen of Pentacles there. You do have Taurus here too. Did I mention that? I apologize if I didn't. I was remiss. They say remain positive. You've got you and your own energy here. Um, I know I mentioned we have Earth energy, but you do have specifically Taurus here too. Within the next few months, so things are moving forward and they give you a yes you can have, do, or be anything, Taurus, because you create your own reality. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.